In this problem, I have 2a over a squared minus 9 minus 7 over a plus 3. And I notice that a squared minus 9 is the difference of two squares. So that can be factored. I'll go ahead and factor that. And I end up with 2a over a plus 3, a minus 3, minus 7 over a plus 3. So I've just rewritten the original problem, but with this part, a squared minus 9, factored as a plus 3, a minus 3. Now I see this a plus 3 here and here. If this second fraction had an a minus 3 as well in the denominator, then they would have a common denominator. So I can just multiply the second fraction by a minus 3 over a minus 3, like that. And now I have a common denominator, and the fractions can be combined. This is going to be 2a minus, and over here I have a 7 that distributes through the a and through the minus 3. So it's 2a minus 7a minus 21. And that's all over a plus 3 times a minus 3. And I can simplify the top a little bit. My 2a minus the 7a gives me a negative 5a. And then I have a minus negative 21. So that's plus 21. So the denominator is negative 5a plus 21. And in, I'm sorry, the numerator right there is negative 5a plus 21. The denominator, I can just rewrite that as a squared minus 9. Or you could leave the denominator like this. That would be okay too. But it's just a little simpler to write a squared minus 9 like that. And then you can put a box around it. And you're done.